know who spread the narrative that women do their hair, makeup, outfit, whatever for the attention of men. Because in my personal experience, men will literally never approach you more than when you look your worst. Like, if you were to crawl out of your grave and go into a public space, sure enough, there's going to be some man there waiting to harass you. But when you look your best, the only people willing to approach you are women and children. And that is single-handedly enough to ensure that I try and look decent everywhere I go. Um, ma'am, the reason that you don't understand this is because you're listening to the wrong people. And the people to whom you're listening are females who don't know what the freak about which they're talking. See, men actually take the time to get to know females because men have to in order to get females. You all don't have to get to know men to get men. Maybe for long term, but just to have men approach you, you don't need to do that. This is why you think that men approach you at your quote unquote worst. When in a man's eyes, it's more along the lines of your best or at least better. Why? Because men keep telling you, you don't need all of that makeup. If you have on some light foundation, some lip gloss or something that accentuates your beauty, then that looks Great, that makes you actually look better. But when you all are coming out here looking like clowns with caked on makeup, you all start patting each other on the back. But guess what? Men aren't patting you on the back for that. Why not? That's the problem. You all don't know why not. It's because men don't know how you actually look. How is it that a man's going to come up to you because he's quote unquote attracted to you when he's not even seeing you when he looks over there? Yeah, that's true. The reason that men come up to you when you don't have makeup on, which you call the quote unquote your worst, is because he can actually see how you look. So he says, hey, she's actually cute because she has nothing on. I can see her face, how she'll look in the morning see men have been yelling this for the longest but you all don't listen and because you all don't listen you keep not understanding this it's very simple men keep repeating this to you yet for some reason you keep only doing what listening to quote unquote women and children do you think that's going to help you get a man listening to nine men Especially when men are the ones who tell you what they want. And then when they get what they want, they treat it like they wanted it. Yeah, they may go out and sleep with some other chicks, but they're like, this is the chick I want to be my man. You all will have a guy who you get to be your man who you don't even like simply because of his resources. So you all are the ones who don't tell the truth when it comes to this whole to whom you are attracted thing. Not us, but you would know that if you did one simple thing, freaking listen. And did you notice the whole bull crap she tried to pull talking about the quote unquote narrative that females do their hair, makeup and outfit for the attention of men? The narrative. Okay, so if you were in a world full of females, no men. Do you think you would do your hair, makeup, and outfit the same? You think you'd do it the same? Do you think when you went outside, you would be thinking, hmm, let me go outside, look in a particular way because I don't want people to think a certain way about me? Or would you be less inclined to give a care? Right. So you can't say it's a narrative when we've been seeing this throughout history. It's because of the attention. We know this. Why is it that you all just will not tell the truth? Oh, we know why you won't. Because if you tell the truth, then you have to accept that men were right. And you, under no circumstance, want a man to be right over you. That's why you all say this bull crap. And did you all catch the whole shaming thing she pulled? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, she tried to slip it in there right quick, but we caught it. That whole men will come out of nowhere and quote unquote harass you thing. Yeah. See how it's harassment when they're young, but when they get older, it's not harassment. It's nice. It's nice that a man came up to me and said A, B, and C. That was nice today. It made me feel good. That's funny because it was men years ago that came up to other females. And they were saying the same bull crap as you. Talking about it's harassment. Get away from me. Why are you saying something to me? Ugh. All these negative things. See, when you're young and your skin is still tight and your skin still looks decent, it's real easy to take for granted the things that fade over time. So you better start appreciating that quote unquote harassment because just like your looks, that quote unquote harassment, which is actually attention, is going to fade over time too.